You're watching Tag TV. India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in the field of science and technology, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I am your host Shreya Savijay and today in our episode of My India, We'll take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of our country, stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. Riding high on the crest of winter in February, a splash of colours, rhythmic drum beats, vivid arts, crafts, music, dance and immersive cultural ethos. All this merged to mark the colourful festivity of one of the world's largest international craft fair, Suraj Kund. This year, International Craft Fair witnessed over thousands of people along and participation of over 20 countries. Let's take a look at this colourful and vibrant extravaganza. India is a land of diversity and beautiful culture. Each year, several fairs attract numerous people from around the world. One such annual event is Suraj Kund Mela, which strives to showcase the richness of handicrafts, handlooms and traditions of India. Held at Suraj Kund, an ancient reservoir of the 10th century located in the Faridabad district of Haryana, the fair is spread across an area of 40 acres. Started in 1981 by the Haryana Tourism Department, this year, the 34th edition of the fair witnessed participants from around the world who showcased their art and handicrafts. From jewellery to toys, furniture to pottery, almost everything can be found here. This year, nearly 20 countries participated in the fair along with other states of India. Uzbekistan was chosen as the partner nation and Himachal Pradesh was selected as the theme state. It's the best event of the year to see your culture, uh, to, to see your India in one platform, at one platform and you see all the states here and the partnering country this year is Uzbekistan and this year the theme of the fair is Himachal. You see the culture, the food, the vibe, the, uh, the textile, the everything from one particular state in a larger format. A confluence of diverse forms of art and culture, the fair has visitors and participants of almost all communities, creed, caste, background and social status in India and abroad. Getting more and more attractive, fun and consumer friendly each year, the Suraj Kund Mela is the best platform for skilled craftsmen and artisans of India and other nations to showcase their talent. With over 1000 stalls, the popular fair has witnessed over a million footfalls this year, including thousands of foreigners. I have absolutely loved it here today. I've seen beautiful things. I came from the Indian textiles and uh, handmade things and embroidery, but I've seen uh, Uzbekistan beautiful embroidery things from uh, uh, Indonesia. It's been very good. I had lovely food, I had some momos. Um, so, no, it's been a fantastic day. Highly recommend it. It's beautifully set up as well. The whole environment is, is just lovely. And it's safe and everybody doesn't have to be worried and scared to come. In the sheer rural ambience, 
it appeals to come and get exposed to some great talents involved in paintings, wood stock, pottery and terracotta, all highlighting the vibrant cultural range of their native place. The main motto behind this festival is to promote handicrafts and handlooms with the aid of craftsmen invited from all over the country. ये मेला बहुत सुंदर अति सुंदर है ये मेला में बहुत सारी लोग आता है बहुत दूर दूर से हैं कम से कम 40 देशों का लोग आता है ये मेला देखने के लिए ये मेला का जवाब नहीं है इस मेला में बहुत हम लोग का सेल होता है इसीलिए बाहर से हम लोग हर साल हम इधर आते हैं फेस लाइक दीस आर ऑर्गेनाइज्ड ऑल अराउंड द ईयर टू सेलिब्रेट वेरियस फॉर्म्स ऑफ आर्ट एंड कल्चर and provide a platform to budding artisans and craftsmen. Fairs like these also display the rich and diverse culture of India. West Midnapur district of India's eastern West Bengal state is setting an example of religious harmony with people from across communities working together shoulder to shoulder in an engineering equipment manufacturing industry. Take a look. Unity among different religious communities is an inherent character of India. Be it work, festival or daily chores, people here work together, celebrate together and live their lives in harmony. Employees of an engineering equipment manufacturing industry in Midnapur in the state of West Bengal have been upholding such unity for over 13 years now. तेर बचर धरे क्या चलते रानिंग इंजिनियारिंग इंडस्ट्री एक्चुअलि तो इंजिनियारिंग क्ज है इंडस्ट्री लेवल जे सब क्या से मोटामुटी बारो थ तेर जन कितु तरह भेतर एप्रेंटिसिप आ समय बोलते क्या भेतर दिखे निर्दिष्ट टाइम आज से टाइम अनुजाई सबाई एंटीटी हन तर एंटीटी हार पर क्या कर आज पूरे करा जरा इकन के स्थानियों तरा बाड़ी फिरे जाए और बाकी जरा आचे तरा इकने थाकर व्यवस्था आचे थाके रान्ना वन्ना खावा दावा समय निजेदर भेतोरी उरा रान्ना वन्ना खावा दावा करे एवं ये भावी यूनिट चले हमारे Coming from different religious backgrounds and several parts of the state, the employees of this small industry have been living amicably without having any differentiation among themselves. on the basis of religion caste or social status ekshonge kaj korchi hindu musliman sobai ar ghonta bhalo bhabe kaj korchi ar sundor ar ghonta amader jiban japan chole jacche ekta poribarer moto pori poribarer moto amader ije samoy chuti pachi sobai dakche ar pujo samoy amra jacchi pujo prosad prosad khachi sobai ekshongei thakchi bhalo bhabe mise mise समय डाइवर्सिटी <laughs> Now, a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Bollywood actor Vicky Kaushal and actress Janvi Kapoor turned on the heat at the ramp at Lakme Fashion Week's summer resort show in Mumbai. Kapoor walked the ramp to wearing a vibrant sleeveless gown with abstract embroidered motifs from the shelves of designer Rahul Mishra. She accessorized her look with a beautiful neck piece. I think it's beautiful and uh, I'm very happy to wear it. 
and I'm very happy that Reliance Trends has brought together so many talented and um, fresh and new designers and showcase. Like my fashion week is a bi-annual fashion event. Its summer resort edition concluded on Sunday. Electric vehicles including scooters, bikes and SUVs are attracting visitors coming to the Auto Expo 2020 being held in India's northern Greater Noida city. Thousands of visitors who flocked to auto show were seen looking out for new car and two-wheeler models as per their requirements at different stalls. We, are, uh, we will be catering to two segments. Uh, the first one is SUV and the second one being uh, electric vehicles. So they are, you know, they are really liking the SUVs, they are liking the colors, the designs of the SUVs and they are liking in electric vehicles, you know, the kind of display we have done not only for the overall cars but also what goes into a battery. So they are uh, liking the display for both electric cars and the battery display as well. Electric vehicles including Tata Altros EV, Renault City KZE, Mahindra EKUV 100 and SUVs like 2020 Hyundai Krita, Renault Duster Turbo, Tata Harrier have been put on display at the auto show. India is trying to put more electric vehicles on the road to combat worsening pollution in the cities and meet the country's commitment to cut its climate changing emissions. The country has 15 of the most populated cities in the world including New Delhi also looking for alternative vehicles. Moving on, as the world emphasizes on active use of renewable energy, the JFE Engineering Company of Japan has come up with the new geothermal electric power generation system that efficiently converts geothermal energy into stable energy. And in another section, we'll show you how the old spinning top game is still maintaining its popularity among the young and old people of Japan. Take a look. Geothermal energy in Japan is expected to be actively utilized as renewable energy. This is one of the world's most abundant source of power. In 2018, a new geothermal electric power generation system was launched in Matsu Hachimantaria, Akita Prefecture. JFE Engineering coordinates in planning, construction of geothermal power plants and electricity sales. この再生可能エネルギーだと思っております。JF特にひどいother than that, there is a binary power generation facility capable of utilizing both steam and hot water. 
松尾八幡平地熱発電所の出力は7499キロワットとなりましてこれは新規開発としては22年ぶりの大きな出力の発電所になります海外についてもですねインドネシアをはじめとして地熱資源を有する国が多々ありますので JFE エンジニアリングもですね長期生産設備から発電所まで一貫して建設できるという強みを生かしてですね今後も海外も含めて視野に含めてですね地熱発電を広げていければいいなというふうに考えております。The electricity produced is supplied to the local town. Technology of JFE engineering to convert geothermal energy into stable energy can make great contribution around the world. Moving on, every year in Japan, national championship is held for spinning top game called Koma. It is managed using strings. <laughs> コマを投げて、紐でかけて、クロスした状態で、縦で回すっていう。Techniques used for movement of spinning top have unique names. The players name it as they please. 綱だよ、服です。コマを紐の上から動かして左手に行き、それをまた同じ風に戻し、手に乗って回ったら大成功です。Players challenge the high-level spinning top movement technique. It is considered one of the oldest games for children in the world. It is also very popular among young and old in Japan. Koma is a game for children in the world. It is also very popular among young and old in Japan. がすごい夢中になって遊べるのであのすごくいいと思います。Mr. Fajita is a director of Spinning Top Challenge Tournament. He teaches people the fun of spinning top. 日本のコマというのはあの外国のコマと違って辛抱の辛抱が長,長いので割といろんな技ができやすいんですよね。で子供たちが考えた技もあるんですけど。例えば地面で回ったら次はお手手に乗せる基本技がいろいろあってそれのバリエーションがどんどんどんどん出てきて新しい技が考える。This museum has spinning tops from many countries around the world and they are usually considered traditional toys. 数えられないんですけどだいたい5万点ぐらい集めたんですけどでコマ自身がそんなに高いものじゃないので他のおもちゃに比べて。だから割と広がってるんですよね。爆発的な人気はないですけど、何百年間ずっと続けて地道にずっとブームが続いているという、それはやっぱりものが回転することに割と興味がある。簡単にこうできるおもちゃもだんだん増えてきて、努力しないとできない遊びというのがだんだんやらなくなったんで、僕らはその少し苦労しないとできないような遊びを。There are many ways to play spinning top around the world, and it always has the power of making people happy and smile. India is the land of diversity, where people from various religions and traditions are knitted together, presenting a beautiful amalgamation of different communities. Amid all faiths and religions. Sufism culture in India works as a binding force that promotes love, harmony, and humanity. So today we take you to the shrine of Sufi saint Jan Muhammad Sahib in Rajouri district, where the first urs of the saint was commemorated with much religious fervor and gaiety. Take a look. Thousands of devotees thronged the Sal village of Rajouri district in the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. to commemorate the urs of the revered Sufi saint Jan Muhammad Sahib. Cutting across religious lines, devotees offered their special prayers to the saint. Devotees took part in the salutations, sermons and prayers at the shrine, while scholars and imams threw light on the life, religious services, teachings and spiritual strength of the saint who devoted his entire life to serve humanity.
سائیں جان محمد صاحب رحمت اللہ علیہ کا یہ پہلا عرص ہے پچھلے سال اسی آج کی تاریخ میں آپ کا وصال ہوا تھا تو آج آپ کا بڑی شان و شوقت کے ساتھ یہاں عرص منایا جا رہا ہے جس میں ہزاروں کی تعداد میں عقیدت مندوں نے یہاں پر شرکت کی ہے ملک کی سلامتی اور امن اور بائی چارے کے لیے یہاں دعائیں کی گئی ہیں میں بھی دعا کرتا ہوں کہ اللہ تعالیٰ ہمارے جمہو کشمیر میں اور پورے ملک اندوستان میں آپس میں امن بائی چارہ قائم رکھنے کی لوگوں کو توفیق اطاف فرمائے With its eclectic emphasis on tolerance and peaceful coexistence, Sufism has been influencing the lives of the people in Kashmir for nearly 700 years, forming an integral part of ethos among the public for the last several centuries. Even today, the Sufi traditions play an important role in their lives and connote them with an understanding of the world in all its spiritual dimensions. The teachings of Sufi saints still reverberate in every nook and corner and continue to inspire people to live in peace and harmony. Saint John Muhammad Sahib was also one among these Sufi saints whose message of oneness and brotherhood is still preached by the residents of the area. Alhamdulillah, where you are seeing these eyes from your head, these are the saints of the saints. زندگی کی محنتوں کا نتیجہ ہے The Holy Ur's commemorations clearly indicates that the lesson of love and compassion that was once propagated by the Sufi saints still has its roots deeply embedded in the rich culture and traditions of the people. Since ancient days, India has remained a favorite destination for travelers and businessmen. Some came to make their fortunes and other came to explore the scenic beauty, iconic monuments and witness the arts and cultures of this incredible land. To make their stay in the country comfortable and establish comprehensive communications with them, Indians have devised several tools and techniques from time to time. One such communication channel has been established by the Ministry of Tourism in India. It is basically a call center where tourists coming to India can call and gain information regarding tourist destination, transportation and other necessary help in their own language. Take a look. A large number of foreign visitors come to India to see scenic mountain ranges, iconic monuments and witness art, culture and relish traditional food. Many times the visitors are in need to communicate in their native language to get details about travel destinations, transportation, distance and much more. This is Tamam Muhammad, a tourist from Syria. Although he can converse in English, he is more comfortable talking in his mother tongue, Arabic. On his short trip to India, Tamam has explored the national capital. With a few days left before he flies back home, he wants to visit another place which is nearby. But he has no clue about what places he could pay a visit near Delhi in the limited time he has. He dialed up 1363 and chose Arabic as his preferred language. Masal khair, marhaban mikum fi incredible India. Ana hashmat fil khidma kai fi yumkin li nu saadatun fi tahsil al maluma. Masal khair. Awadu ziyarat Madina ti agra wa auridu an agrif minka al mawaq al siyahiya alati yumkin nu ziyaratuha huna kam al fadlik. Al maakin alati tu yumkin laka an tashuf wa tanzur. في مدينة عقرة هي تاج محل وأيضا يمكن لك أن تزور هناك قلعة عقرة شكرا جزيلا لك هذا كاف And I wanted to visit some tourist places so I just looked online for the tourist helpline and I called them and they suggested me going to Agra and they were very helpful and it was a fruitful call actually. They spoke to me in Arabic and uh, I was really uh, happy to hear that. In Hindi, English and 10 other international languages that include Arabic and Chinese among others, visiting tourists can get answers to all their queries by dialing a four-digit number 1363. Upon dialing this number, the caller gets connected to the 24-7 multilingual tourist info helpline named Incredible India, set up by the Ministry of Tourism, where they can select the desired language and seek advice or register complaint. 
tourists who are visiting to India, they are not aware of, about the places. So we, as a helpline, you know, support 24 into 7 and provide them the correct information about the places where they can go and you know visit. So it helps a lot. So how many people are going to visit this place? This facility by the Ministry of Tourism will not only help tourists with little to no English speaking abilities to clarify their queries, but will also help them register their grievances and complaints, especially at a time of emergency. Even if they do not speak English, they would be able to convey their problems in the language they are most familiar with. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at mindia at I'm your host Shreya Sabajay and it's goodbye from the entire production team.